the low positive. So right now we, you know, very cautiously optimistic. I'm pregnant. I am pregnant, which is awesome and amazing. I, I don't know. I'm excited, but it's been such a roller coaster to get here. Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome. What's up, fertility fam? We gotta do what? Let's get those babies, ladies. What's up, fertility fam? Today is Monday, the 17th of December. I don't know where the year is going. I'm headed off to the RE to redo my blood work. I know, it's Monday. I did not go on Sunday. I, no one called me for an appointment, and when I called the overnight line, there was some lady who was just, like, not clear that getting blood work was monitoring, and I shouldn't go in, and she wouldn't let me talk to a nurse unless it was an emergency, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going today. I did take another home test. The line is the same, it's not darker, so I don't know, but we'll see. I'm gonna head on down there. I'll show you guys. Um, I'll try to take a picture over here, my line progression. And these are Acumed tests. I looked at the potency or the level that they test for it's 25 hcg so remember i was like nine something on friday it looks a little bit darker so i'm not sure i obviously it doesn't look like it's at 25 yet but hopefully it's increased and not gone down so fingers crossed hey guys it's windy so i'm gonna be brave i'm leaving the re's i'll talk to you when i get to a little less windy spot Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. The the beta went up to 27 and the progesterone went down? Mm, well, 15 and 16 is still comparable, Tanika. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just didn't hear you. Sorry. Oh, okay, good. So, yeah, yeah. So, last time when we checked on the 14th, the progesterone was at 16. And today when we checked it, it was 15. So, 15, 16 is basically the same. Okay. Okay. And so what happens is, because the progesterone level, when it comes, it, or your body, when it produces the hormone, it comes in pulses. So it sometimes goes up and down, but it's still comparable, 15 to the 16. Okay? Okay. So Dr. Lobo says because it's got, starting to go up, he wants to have you repeat it. It's still low, but it's rising. So right now, are you still on meds, Tanika? Just wanted to follow up with you. Uh, no, but I have them. The You mean like the progesterone? Yes, 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 the progesterone. I have them. Um, the, um, Dr., oh my God, I can't think of his name now. The director. Dr. Foreman. Dr. Foreman, yes. yes. He sent me an yes. email on Friday saying to, that it was sufficient, and so he wasn't worried about um, supplement, but I, I do have them. Okay, okay. So let me check with Dr. Lobo because he's the uh, doctor reviewing the results for Dr. McConnell today since she's still out. Okay. I'll check with him to see if he wants you to restart it. Okay? Okay. If you don't mind, do you mind holding for a little bit, Tanika? No, I don't mind. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. So it's gone up. It's um, It was 9-something on Friday, HCG, and it's 27 today. I'm, I don't know if that's... The sixty percent because we didn't do it in forty eight hours. We did it in seventy two because I couldn't get in yesterday. But I'll ask her when she comes back. Hi, thanks for waiting. Yeah. So I checked back with Dr. Lobo Tanika. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he said since you have the progesterone at home, you said you have it, right? The vaginal product. Yep. Okay. He says we there's no harm in uh, supplementing. Okay. Okay. So you could definitely restart. It's insert one vaginally three times a day, like you've done before, right? Yes. Okay. So restart it, but he does say that you know when the the, the level came back on when it started on Friday, it was a low positive. So right now we, you know, very cautiously optimistic. It went up well, but however, it's it's a little off the timing. But right. The performance right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and so we want 
you to come back in another three days. So it's going to be on Thursday for a repeat of the blood test, okay? Thursday. Okay, okay. okay. All right. In the meantime, you can start the vaginal project. Okay. All right. All right. We'll thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. You too. All right, guys. So I'm pregnant. It's a low positive, but it's a positive. I'm pregnant. All right. I got to get back to my meeting. <laughs> hey, fam. All right. Hopefully you can see me. I'm in the room. And I, just, I didn't bring the light in here. I'm tired. I am. Um, yeah, it's been quite the day. So I am pregnant, which is awesome and amazing. I, I don't know. I'm excited but it's been such a roller coaster to get here and you kind of heard i think you heard most of katrina's conversation she didn't say congratulations um i told a friend at work and she's like the first person to say congratulations in person and give me a hug and it was just like i was fighting back tears at that point because it's just i'm still shell-shocked and so i talked to um lili g ttc and she was saying how well, I don't want to tell her whole story, but basically she gave me inspiration about like how her pregnancy progressed and the feedback that her doctor was giving her. And so that helped me kind of like process it and make it not so odd. So I think that's helpful when we get to share our stories of like what actually happened, even if we don't share it with the world and we share it one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm so grateful that I got to have that conversation with her because it did put things in perspective for me. And it was, you know, not at the first or second, um, blood draw. So that helped. So we'll see. Um, today was my third blood draw. <laughs> the first one was a negative. Second one was you're technically pregnant. And then today it's like, you're pregnant, but let's keep watching it. So I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, if God has a miracle for me, I will definitely take it. And I'm happy to, I think I'm conflicted because I always said I have to take it day by day and like it'll be beta after beta after beta. I just didn't know it was going to be this crazy that the first beta was like, no, and then we would go up. I thought I would get a positive and then it would continue to go up. So this is just a whole other set of worry. So I think that's a lesson to all of us. It does no good to worry because you can never predict what it is you're going to have to worry about. So, and it's just anxiety inducing because it's not something I can change, right? Like what I worried about before, oh, getting a positive and then having it increase. I worried about that, but it wasn't something I could change. And so now I have this other thing to go on about and I'm going to try to not worry about it because it's not something I can change. So I'm going to continue to pray. I'm going to continue to have faith and we'll see. We'll see if Applejack is going to hang out for a while. I think, I think he will. I think he will. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's it. I am I'm doing a premiere tonight, so I'm going to talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm just exhausted right now, so I'm going to catch my breath for a little bit and then hop on the premiere. I'm just getting home. It's a little after 7. It's just been a crazy work week, and next week is the holiday, um, Christmas. So, yeah, just wrapping stuff up. People are going to be out, so I think I'm just a little overworked. And I definitely, you guys have said it in the comments leading up to this point, like while I'm still poopo, you guys were saying have a seat. My mom said the same thing on Saturday. So I am going to take your advice or Sunday. My mom, did I tell you guys that when I talked to my mom, I don't, I didn't record that day. She was like, Oh, it's so complicated. Back in my day, the rabbit just died. And I was like, Oh my God. So when I was trying to explain the HCG, which I explained this to her last year when I had the miscarriage, but I think she's just like over it. But yeah, she was like, you are doing too much. You need to get some more and sit down. So I'm going to take her advice. Um, I have been doing less. I haven't vlogged every day. Yeah, I haven't. I was going to say except for vlogmas, but some of those I just combined together. Like I vlogged a little bit, but not a full day. So I'm doing less. I'm, I'm planning on doing even less and we'll figure out like, yeah, what, what makes sense. And I'm just going to buckle up and continue to pray and enjoy being pregnant. No longer poop over, actually pregnant, which is crazy. I dreamed about it. I'm excited to say it. I'm hesitant to say it. Like, I still want to pinch myself, but I'm, yeah, I'm pregnant. So there you go. Oh, happy Monday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Baby dust to us all. Mm.